Hello and welcome to Crafting with Jane. Oh, exciting. I've just received my spring floral mixed media box number two from Indigo Blue. Um, if you remember, I got box number one and we made the, um, the lovely um, wall um, art that I did. Oh, it's so frustrating because I've got to cut right the way across here, but... It's the only way I'm going to open it, so I could have soaked it off so I could use it. You know me in trying to use everything, but I just love these. These look lovely. Okay, so open it up and let's have a look and see what we've got inside. Okay, so oh, they always give sweeties, which is lovely. Um, my grandchildren appreciate them very much because they love love hearts. So um, a little bit fizzy for me, but... Um, but it's the thought that counts. Then I've got this in here, which is I'm going to not look at it completely because I think it turns around and tells me, yes, there's a QR code on there that gives me a free um, video to watch. So I'm just making sure I put that out of the way. And then we've got, I'm going to take the pieces out. We've got, oh, look at this. Isn't it beautiful? I love these. Um, now that's fun. You know me and, and different coloured tissue paper. So I'm going to take all of the pieces out and we'll go through them one at a time because there's, as always, lots in the mixed media kits and they are just lovely. So I'm taking those out first of all so I can see what's in the box and I'm going to save this tissue paper. Oops, is it just caught on? Hopefully I can just pull that out. Um, and I'm going to move the box out of the way. As you know, I use the tissue paper for all sorts of things. So let's take the box out of the way and then we can have a look and see what's inside. OK, turn it round this way so we can start at the front. OK, inspiration and ideas. So we have, as we did before, a lovely magazine which gives you lots of ideas of what you can do with all of the pieces. If you if you uh, run out of ideas, um, it gives you it. But look at these for cutting these out, fussy cutting them and making. That would make a card on its own, wouldn't it? So with that one. Um, in fact, these are just beautiful. So that's the magazine. Let's put that in underneath. Then we have, now these are the papers. Um, I think they're just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So let's have a look at them. Um, oh, those are pretty. So you've got mini papers, ideal for ATCs or just cards. So that gives you six. You've got these which are larger. So again, if you cut those in, you could get four out of each one if you wanted to. Let me just open it up so we can see. Oh, nice. Musical notes on one side pretty and then these gorgeous flowers I love these flowers they're just stunning really beautiful again musical notes on that side and then a beautiful centerpiece so that would work with a large a large mixed media um, thing or a um, you know on a notebook on a, um, a box on a all sorts of things um, again musical notes um, the paper is of a nice weight it is quite a good heavy weight lovely tulips Ooh, musical notes lovely um, what are these ones they're, they're sort of a tulip as well aren't they which are lovely those ones there's musical notes on, on every side so I'm just going to go through these ones these are just beautiful aren't they really big size as well um let me take my they're just over eight inches by eight inches so yeah um eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter um good size good size beautiful color palettes as well so you've got all of your all of your different palettes from these sort of really light and slightly muted to that really vibrant with the purples. Lovely. Love, 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 love these. 
Um, I don't, as, as you know, I don't use pattern paper a lot because I tend to make my own, but these are just beautiful for spring cards. Really, really like those. And again, you've got another six mini ATCs at the back. Now, are they the same as the ones at the front? Let's have a little look. Um, no, they're not. Those are the ones at the front. So you've got those ones. And then these are the ones at the back. So I think they're all of the large ones in small. But lovely. Just, just absolutely love those. They are just so, so nice when we've had winter and things with spring coming on their way okay so we've now got stencils oh butterfly stencils now they're nice again really good size they are four inches four and a quarter inches each butterfly if you're doing them separately the whole lot again is another eight inches right the way across but you can do little parts of them you can do it lovely love that and then we've got another one oh nice flowers nice little flowers gonna have fun using those i do like their stencils so two stencils then we've got this which is oh look at that i'm going to do this one first a butterfly now these are the um the cardboard but they're stiffened sort of cardboard almost like um MDF, but not quite as, a, what do they call it, grey board. Um, so three butterflies, really nice. These really pretty flowers. So you've got three flowers on there, again on the grey board. A beautiful stamp, look at that. Tulip bouquet, really like that. I think that's, that's beautiful. Um, big huge sizes again you know that's that's the thing you the stamps that you get they are a really good size I'm doing it in inches because I'm an inches person so let's take that to there five five and a quarter by three and three quarters just under four inches so again a good size you know put that in the center of a card your card's done all you've got to do is do a bit of coloring if you want and then look at these now this is um mdf stuff they call it something different but it, it's that that sort of thing all sorts of flowers and it's called Woodology Flower Pot Blooms. So that makes a flower pot. And then you've got all of these flowers that you can put in, into the flower pot. So that's going to be so much fun making that. I think that's lovely. Can't wait to have a go at that. I'm not really, I, I don't think I've ever made anything like that. So that will be fun to do with you. And then this one is, again, something I'm looking forward to doing, a pocket journal set. So this is like um, two journal covers, four reinforcers. So this gives you um, like a little, um, a little notebook and you can, you know, put all, all different things inside it, etc. So I shall probably use some of the papers and cover it and do, well, have fun playing with this one. So you have all of this and it was, what does it say on here? Um, the whole kit is, was £25. Now, when this video comes, when I'm starting to use this, it may have all sold out because they are always limited edition and they sell out fairly quickly. Um, but if you've got yours, then hopefully you'll get inspiration for what I'm going to do with mine. And if you haven't, you might be able to get it quickly. If you can, I do have a um, discount code with Indigo Blue and you can get 20% off. So if you put Jane um, in lowercase 20, you'll get 20% off any orders that you order. So um, you get over £40 worth for £25. So, you know, it, it's, a, it's a good saving. Um, in fact, I think you probably get... From looking at this, you probably get more than that with, you know, with the papers and this and that and the stamp set 
and the two pieces of grey board and two stencils and a pack of paper. Um, it's an amazing kit. So that was my unboxing. Um, come back over the next month um, or two or three weeks and see how I've got on with making these things and we'll make some of them together. So thank you as always for watching me. Please stay safe and well. Please be kind and look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye bye.